quick update on the aquarium here you guys so i've added a few things i've added some coral uh, as you can see it's probably hard to see with the light on i'm gonna get myself a filter so i got the green star polyp i know that they can take over i did some research on them uh but it's a nice thing to add to your aquarium uh Basically, I'm going to give itself, give it a little island just so I can maintain it on its own separate rock. So it's just sitting on the substrate. Everything is just sitting here right now. <clears throat> just quite not sure where I want to put everything. I got to glue everything down. Um, I got the pulsating Xenia. Probably really hard to see. So if you shut off all the... Let's just hit feed here for a second and see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> let's just watch it and see. They pulsate, which you guys are probably quite familiar with. We'll leave it and come back to that. He's just been moving all around there. So you'll see him start moving around. So here is a Duncan. Now I get a really good deal on this Duncan. They they had a two head there and I wanted, there was only a couple left. And he was like, hey, I'll look. You had problems last time, which I did uh, to get the rock. So he goes, like, I'll send you this, uh, I think it was seven heads. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and there's seven heads on that one. <clears throat> so I got a really good deal on that one, cheap. And I got a hammer. This is a purple and green tip hammer. And I got a snail. The turbo snail. So <clears throat> I might forget anything else. Plus I got some shrimp food and stuff like that for the dunk the uh, Duncans. Um, I will be adding more coral here soon. But right now I just got these guys just sitting in here. And most likely he'll be staying down here. I'll move it out a little bit. And I may use that rock right there for the star polyp and place him in the back probably over there because they don't need a whole lot of light these star polyps and I would like to kind of hide and fade and you know fill in the back and uh, chloramine and all that I want that all filled in in the back so I I'm planning on getting some more corals probably next week or the week after we'll see what happens but I got my eye on a few of them and I'm going to leave that as a surprise and they're doing really good they're doing really good this guy here was closed up uh, during shipping and he arrived which is normal and uh, anyways I put him in the tank last night and it was kind of weird because he opened up and there was no lights on in my aquarium so he opened right up and uh, stayed open all night. I came out and checked it, which I'm glad I did because the turbo snail got onto him and knocked it over and it was down here laying. So I came out and seen that and it must just happened. And I picked it back up and put it in there and moved the turbo snail away. And it was still open. So it seems to be doing good. Um, the hammer looks really good so I gotta pick up some uh, supplements for these guys and uh, that's coming through Amazon these are all opening up nicely we'll see how well this stuff takes off now the tank's been cycling for 
little over four weeks. And I've been just using stability. I've been putting food in a tank. Um, didn't know that the stability could be used in a saltwater aquarium, but I guess you can. So I've been using the stability in my aquarium. And putting some food in there. Just some regular fresh food. And the water parameters, everything seems to be right spot on. So we're not having any issues so far. So we'll just let things go. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I do need to... Uh, I'm going to show you how I got my buckets laid out. So it'd be... Sorry about that. I had a call coming in. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the corals that I did pick up. And uh, I'll keep you updated on how they're doing. Um, what I'm feeding them. I'll probably do a video feeding this little guy. Um, there's a snail. Not much in there for him to eat. So I'm kind of worried about him. There is some algae in here, but it's right on the inside of the rock. Might have the placing. But it's green algae. I hope it's, uh, I got some, I guess they call it coralline algae. You can see it starting on my rock, live rock back there. See the purple starting? Yeah. Starting along the top of that rock. Down towards the bottom. Some right here in the very front. So the purple coralline algae, like you see here on this frag, which you probably can't, is just starting to cover. I hope it covers everything. And I loved that look. So yeah, just want to give you guys a quick update on what I have and uh, what kind of uh, corals I got last night and put in there. I'll keep you updated on what I put in and how these guys are doing. And feedings and uh, yeah, this is the Fluvoflex 32 gallon or yeah 32 gallon, um, just the 3.0 marine light. I imagine I'll need to add the second light later on. I will, I'll worry about that next year. Right now, I'm only going to be adding softies in here. So start out with softies and then start doing with my harder corals up top. So I maybe end up rearranging this rock around and this rock around. I might bust that rock up, use this rock for this purple uh, pulp and uh, move things around a little bit. So that's why nothing's really placed because I don't, I'm losing kind of some room here in the center, which I could be growing stuff. And people's like, well, you got to have a hiding spot for the fish. Well, you know, close their eyes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So anyways, thanks you guys for watching. And uh, this is just a quick update on the aquarium. And uh, you'll see what I have in here. And I'll keep you updated on that. And we'll see if they die or not.